This video is gonna review the use of a pocket mask. Um, so this is an adult pocket mask here. Sometimes they come in a hard plastic case just to help protect the bladder from puncture. So you can open these up. And they're often packed, compressed just for packaging. So when you open these, you're gonna find your mask is actually compressed down. First thing you need to do is push the bottom out so that the mask is in a position it can be used. Now in terms of positioning this on the patient, the point is always going to be in the direction of the nose, and there's a one-way valve already attached. This little cap needs to be covered when we're using it for ventilations, as this is a port to add oxygen if we had an oxygen tank. This strap just keeps the mask in place while we're doing other things such as compressions during CPR. So to put this mask on, we're going to again line up the point with the nose, and we want to get this right over the face. We don't want to have a gap here. We can place the strap over the patient just to keep it in place. In terms of the mask seal, we can do this two ways. We can do it from the side if we were doing individual CPR. So we can place our hand with our thumb and kind of our forefinger across the sides of the mask, provide that head tilt, and then using our fingers to grab the jaw and our hands to cover that mask. And then we're gonna give a breath again just till we see that chest rise. Okay, so that's a seal from the side. If we had multiple people and we were doing CPR, as a team, it's often nice to have the airway patient or the airway responder up at the head out of the way. In this mask seal, you can use your thumbs across the mask and then use your fingers to grab the jaw with a head tilt to support it as you're giving the breath. And again, just giving enough air to see that chest rise. If the patient vomits, you can remove the mask, roll the patient, clean out any vomiting, reassess your patient, and then continue to use your mask as long as it's not covered in vomit and really dirty, otherwise get a new one. So again, just to demonstrate the seal from the top, you're gonna to use your thumbs across the side and these fingers to pull the jaw up with a head tilt. And if we were at the side of the patient, we're doing solo CPR, then we would use our thumb and forefinger across the mask and this thumb on top, as well as the head tilt and pulling the jaw up. And again, giving just enough air to get that chest rise.